Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I hope everybody is well and um, staying safe. Now, I recently upgraded my internet to uh, Virgin Broadband and many thanks to TT Technology for the recommendation. Now, previously I had a 70 meg connection, but with the new Virgin Media Broadband, I've actually been upgraded to 350 meg downstream. And let's just see what kind of speeds we get. So I'm paying for 350 meg and I'm getting a healthy, well, I'm actually getting more than 350 meg, so I'm definitely very happy with that. Now, the trouble is, when I actually activated my VPN, um, how bad do you think it was? Well, let's just do a quick test now, so let's close this. Let me now bring up my VPN, which as you guys know, I'm currently using IPVanish. Let me click on connect. So we're connecting to a VPN server in London, where I am, so let's see how that affects the speed. Let's go back to speed test. Let's click on go. So we've gone from 350 meg guys down to round about round about 30. So as you can imagine, guys, I was very disappointed. Now I didn't want to just pull my hair out. I thought let me do some troubleshooting and see if there's anything I can do inside IP Vanish to actually tweak those settings. Well, guess what, guys? So I've actually tweaked some settings, and when I tweak the settings, let's have a look at what happens to the performance. So. Let me close this now. Okay, so I've just tweaked those settings now and just so you can see that we have made a connection once again to a VPN server in London. And let's now do a quick speed test and let's see what kind of speeds we get on the VPN with those VPN tweaks applied. So I'm hoping we get at least 30 meg, otherwise clearly those tweaks didn't do anything. So let's click on go. And can we get more than 30? Yes, we can guys, we are getting nearly five times, um, is it five? Well, it's a lot more than before, guys. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also apply some tweaks to your IP Vanish to give you the best possible performance. And I'll also show you some other tweaks you can do to really get the most from your VPN. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So let me show you the steps on my NVIDIA Shield Pro, but you can apply these uh, steps to any device where you've installed IP Vanish. Now, as we can see, IP Vanish is running in the background and I have already established a connection. Let's do another quick speed test to see what kind of speeds we get on the NVIDIA Shield because you have to understand guys, the speed that you get on your VPN is also heavily dependent on what kind of device you're using because the job of any VPN software will be to encrypt your traffic, encapsulate those data packets and send it down that secure tunnel. Now, the more power that your device has, the better job it will do in that encryption process, which in turn means that you will get or you will see better VPN speeds and similarly, if you have a low power device with a slow CPU with you know less RAM, then you definitely will see slow speeds on a device like that. Okay, so let's just do a quick speed test on this device. Let's click on go. So this is me using IP Vanish on my NVIDIA Shield Pro without any of the tweaks. And we can see on this device, again, we're getting around about 35 or, oh, we could say we're getting closer to 40 meg, which again, guys, is not very good at all. But we'll just say once again that, you know, for you to do any kind of HD streaming, as long as you can get around about 20 to 25 meg, then you won't get any issues at all. But ideally we would like to get as much speed as possible. Okay, so let's now apply those tweaks. So let's minimize out of this. Let's go into my IP Vanish. And let's head over to settings. Now the first tweak we're going to do is if you scroll down, we can see by default, the protocol that IP Vanish defaults to is actually UDP. But if we change that to TCP, I actually got much, much better speeds as we saw with the previous test. So that's the first thing we're going to change. Let's scroll down and let's open up the port. Now again, by default, this is set to port 443. Now, depending on your ISP, some ISPs are known to throttle VPN connections, which means when they detect that VPN traffic, they will actually limit what kind of speeds you can get. So regardless of whichever service you have, regardless of whichever VPN you have, if they can detect the traffic, then they could potentially throttle you. Now, 
one thing we could do to potentially mitigate that is to change our default port. Now we can see with IP Vanish, we have the default port of 443, which is the default SSL port. But I actually recommend changing that to either 1194 or 8443 and just see whichever one gives you better performance. So for now, let's go for 8443. So that's just two quick changes we've made. Let's press the back button. And the other thing here where we can see it asks you which server do you want to connect to, instead of just selecting best available, which is again the default option, I personally like to go through this list and just find whichever server has the least latency. And that basically means how far is that server to you from a geographical perspective. The lower the number here, that means it's closer to you. So we can see this one here is just 18 milliseconds. Uh, can we get anything lower? Oh, we've got 17 here. So let's just go for that one for now. Okay, so we've made three quick changes. We've changed the default connectivity protocol to use TCP. We've changed the default port to use 8443. And lastly, we've actually picked a server that has the least latency, which means it's closest to me. Let's click on connect now. So three very, very quick changes, guys. And let's see what they do to our actual speed. Okay, that's now connected. Let's go back to speed test. Okay, and let's now click on go. Well, let's close this down first. And let's click on go. And let's see if we can beat 40 meg down on the Nvidia Shield. And look at that guys. So without fail, just making those very, very quick changes, we can see we're getting at least three or four times our previous speed. So that's 117 meg down, whereas before you saw I was getting around about 40 meg. And let's just close that down. Let's just do one more test. And let's just see if we are regularly and let's see if we are consistently getting better than 40 meg. <laughs> of course we are. So very, very quick changes to make, guys. And as you can see, they do make a big difference to your speed. But you have to appreciate that, you know, each ISP is different, each location is different, each device is different. So it's always worthwhile having a play with the settings and just see whichever one works best for you. But definitely on my device, guys, we can see making those quick changes did have a massive impact to the speed. Let's just do third time lucky. And then I'll show you some of the other settings we can do on IP Vanish to get the most from the application. So, yep, no problem. We can comfortably get more than 100 meg every time with those tweaks applied. So definitely worthwhile checking out, guys. Do have a look and just see whichever one works the best for you. Okay, let me show you some of those other tweaks we can do with IP Vanish. Okay, so the first setting that we're gonna look at is called split tunneling. The key thing about a VPN is, is that you create a secure tunnel from your Fire Stick or your Android box or your computer from those devices onto a VPN server. So all of your traffic is going through that secure tunnel. Now, if you create a split tunnel, what you're basically saying is for those certain applications, don't go via the secure tunnel, just go directly to the internet. Okay, so why might you want to create a split tunnel? So let's say, for example, I'm using the Cetus Play application. And with this application, I can cast things to my TV. I can search for things online. And if I do find any content online, I can then stream that to my TV. Now, the trouble is, if I have the VPN enabled, my device can't make a connection to my Fire Stick because the VPN is basically blocking all that traffic because everything has to go via that secure tunnel. So let's say, for example, I'm doing the search to cast. Let's say we found some episodes here. So if I click on one of these, so do you want to cast this to your box? Let's click on OK. Now, because the VPN is running, it can't actually make that connection, which is why this casting now fails. So this is exactly where split tunneling would come in and fix this for us. So let's now put that into action. So I'm going to click on split tunneling. Now it's going to ask me which applications do you want to basically bypass your VPN. So let's go down. Here we can see there's Cetus Play there. Let's click on that. Okay, let's back out of this again. Let's back again. Let me now disconnect the VPN. So once again, my device has now just made a secure tunnel to a VPN server, but because of the split tunneling, I should now be able to talk to Cetus Play. So let's test that again. Okay, so we're back to the same screen. Let's see if I can cast one of these. Let's click on that. Do you want to cast this? Let's click on OK. And there, guys, we can see within one second, even though my VPN is running, I can now cast this directly to my Fire Stick without any problems. Goes back out of that. And guys, just for clarification, so this is just one example of using the split tunneling. So you can use split tunneling for any application that you don't want to use via your VPN. So for example, if you are paying for Netflix, if you have certain applications that you want to make sure you get maximum performance that you don't care about VPN, you can add all of them into the split tunnel and that way you can keep your VPN running, but those key applications will always go direct. Okay, so next up we have LAN access. Now, now the way I use my house is I have a NAS drive with all of the movies that I previously purchased and I use as a media player to access that NAS. Now, once again, as soon as I enable my VPN, my 
you can't access anything on my network because as soon as the VPN comes up, it isolates everything on my device. So how do we get around that? So this is exactly what allow LAN access means. So even if your VPN is running, having this thing ticked means you can still access everything on your network. So in my case, I should be able to access my NAS and access all of my content. So let's just try that now. So if I go to my home screen, let's open up. Let's go to files. Now this folder here, as we can see with the icon, is basically a network folder on my NAS. So if I click on this now, try and make a connection to my NAS and access my movies that I own. Let's click on that now. Now again, because my VPN is running, it cannot make that connection because everything on my device is currently isolated. So this is how we fix it. So let's go back to our VPN. Let's go back into settings. And now we're going to say allow LAN access. So because this thing is ticked now, we can access things on our local network, even if the VPN is running. So let's test that again. Okay, we're now connected. Let's go back to because of that LAN access. Let's see if that now works. Let's click on files. Let's click on films. And there we have it, guys. We now have access to our NAS drive, even though the VPN is up and running. So that's exactly what allow LAN access will give you. Well, that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching and many thanks for staying till the end. If you did find this video useful, then please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always welcome your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.